hi everyone okay so today i'm going to show you how to make a, a jhatpat bhaji or a sabji which can go with chapatis or it can go with paratha puri it can also be a very good stuffing for your sandwiches this is uh, methi aloo that i'm going to make so this what all you can substitute with i'm telling you methi greens is what i'm using i have i've got about uh, one full uh, cup of uh, methi greens I have cut them the way I wanted, not very minced and all those things. Uh, it's fresh, so uh, you can use spinach in place of it. You can use amaranth in place of it. But when you're using these things, it'll be nice if you use a little bit of kasuri methi or dried methi leaves because uh, the flavor of methi leaves in this is amazing. It's really appetizing and uh, it gives it a different uh, edge completely. Okay, so let's get going with this. Let me tell you the ingredients. I'm, I've taken uh, three medium-sized potatoes and chopped them into small cubes. There is a toma two tomatoes. Okay, for onions, you can take two big onions. I have taken uh, birista, which is fried onions, which I buy from the store, Amazon. So they, these make uh, cooking much, much easier for me. So I'm, I'm using, I can use the uh, other onions, if you're using the other onions, uh, you have to fry them till they are uh, brown. So I'd rather use this now. Then we've got uh, a green chilli and some garlic, some jeera. For the powders it will be uh, turmeric, half a spoon of turmeric, half a spoon of uh, chilli powder just for that extra spice. Otherwise, it's not needed. And little bit of uh, hing or asafoetida. So, let's get started. It's very simple uh, bhaji. Only thing is the we have to wait for the potatoes to get cooked. So, I'm starting off. I'm taking the uh, kadai and I've put in some oil. So, let's wait for it to get hot. Oh yeah, another thing I forgot to tell you is that uh, uh, if you want to use the spinach greens or the... Um, Methi greens, that is thin Greek greens. Uh, you can use it with moong dal also, soaked moong dal. You can just soak it for about 15-20 minutes, the moong dal, uh, a fistful of it. And uh, then go about the same way, as you cook the onions, you, uh, as you cook the potatoes, you cook the moong dal also. I'll show you step by step, I'll tell you at that time. I just remembered that moong dal and uh, methi is a very good combination, it's very famous in Maharashtra. It's worth a try. The oil is heated up, I'm putting in the jeera so it's corona times now so we are just making shift with whatever we have i had a bunch of uh, methi leaves so i uh, needed dough for uh, methi thepla and the rest of it like the the bunches of uh, greens that you get over here are really large ones so I nearly have about half a kilo for the tepla and half a kilo of this. Nearly half a kilo of this. So, oops, I dropped one leaf into this. Okay. So, because of that I could make use of this. And everyone over here loves methi. Okay, so first thing I will go in with the tomatoes. Because the onions are already fried and they will burn if I put it first. So... tomatoes, the garlic and the chilli. You can put in the fried onions also first but I prefer to do it this way. If you're putting the onions first, you'll have to keep putting a little bit of water so it doesn't burn and then uh, cook it to a uh, pulp sort of consistency and then put in the tomatoes. It's a choice. So what I do is, once the, uh, the tomatoes start releasing water, I put the uh, onion, the dried onion, fried onions, because then there is enough moisture for it to bloom. So now is the time. If you are using fresh onions, fry it first to a brown, and only then you end with the tomatoes. This is a very popular dish in Maharashtra and every household has a different recipe. 
each of them are finger licking good. Maharashtri recipes are so simple and so flavorsome. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in the masala and I'm going to just let the tomatoes and the onions cook, covered. Just till the tomatoes become little pulpy. Okay, it's been a minute. The tomatoes have softened. Now I'll put in the potatoes. These are the loys I made for making the thepla. So I'll get started with making thepla. Maximum usage of burkans so I don't have many burkans to wash. Smart, no? Okay, what I missed in this was salt. So here goes salt. This is very simple. The masalas are so basic. That's why it possibly you get to eat more of the vegetable taste than you know you know to get you know, to that overpowering masalas and all this. So that's why this is very popular among kids also. So we put this on thin, low flame, and let this cook. Okay. Now uh, the potatoes have been cooked. I did a little bit of cheating here. I, uh, you can see the ones who cook normally will understand when they see the kadai. <laughs> I put it on high, put some water and kept, you know, opening and closing the lid and now it's cooked. Okay, so there it's cooked. So now what is left is the methi. Methi, greens, fenugreek, greens, uluvachira, whatever. Okay, and mix. See, My children are speaking to their grandparents. Corona times. <laughs> so they are, they finished their chores for the day. And they are speaking with their grandparents. I think it's a nice time to reflect and to bond with family. Because most of the times the children are busy with their work. So when Amuma and Mutasha call, sometimes it's just a hi, bye, or that's it. But now, Anaga came and told me, uh, she's very worried about her uncle and her aunt, who are in UK, who are doctors, and so she worries a lot about them. So I said, the best way to show that you care is at least to speak and tell. You can't just tell that you care and keep quiet about it. So I've asked them to call and speak with one person one day. Let's see how it works. Okay, so now the methi has been put. And it just needs a few minutes on a low flame or on a medium flame till it gets cooked. You can uh, see it's already... Uh, it suddenly becomes soggy and half a kilo of uh, uh, or a, you know, rather one and a half, two cups of uh, methi greens has just dissolved into this. You can hardly see, it's very less. You can see the potatoes more than the greens. This, uh, though the methi greens are bitter by themselves, when the potatoes come in or when the moong dal comes in, the bitterness is cut short a lot. That's why I said it's very popular among the children also. It is not as bitter as we would think it to be. It's very tasty and uh, the methi when it cooks the smell is is amazing. So that's about it. This is it. I will show you. I will plate and show you. I'm going to be making theplas. I'll just show you how I make a thepla. Okay, I'm beginning to make the thepla. I have rolled it out. That's the thepla. Thepla is quite like a para uh, methi paratha, but uh, we don't use ghee in this. Oil is used more than ghee. And, uh, this is another uh, favorite dish in the family. So that way the greens go in without complaints. So. Once you start seeing bubbles this side, give it a flip. My mother
mother was asking how come you are having lunch so late you are still making lunch the children have just woken up some time ago everyone is taking life quite light and enjoying it rather ut ke bhi kya karna hai okay so one toss and the second toss and then we put some oil this is my way of making thepla there may be many other ways authentic and this is not the way gujaratis make and all that but this is how i make it and it's a hit so it's a tried and tested recipe recipe and uh, way of making it go little oil here very little so because one side already there is oil Crescent on, crescent on, crescent. There's something in uh, the Gujaratis have that it's like a, you know, it looks like a stamp, uh, which they use for making devras and thepla. So we press and turn with that, and uh, you can actually see it getting roasted so well. This is a very very tasty dish. You can have it. just as you know in the evenings my husband and me we have roll roll this and have it with chai or with just achar or any chutney so it is popular and it's tasty and uh, it's healthy also so here goes the second one so i will dish out and uh, take a picture of that and show that to you also bye that's the lunch thepla methi alu achar and dahi this is the best combination see you bye